forested regions to our suburban gardens. Members of the Pickerforms order have even established themselves in parks and golf courses, as well as natural areas. They extend even into the more arid habitats within southern Africa and around the world. And the barbets and tinkerbirds are the most playful and colourful members of this order. Join us on a short journey as we go through the calls of these species and learn to recognize them and separate those that sound similar. Male crested barbets call with the distinctive trilled rattling call, as heard in this example of the male's song. The female often responds with a slightly more agitated variation of the male's call, and you'll often hear them almost duetting as the male calls while the female responds. The duet of the black collared barbet is well known. It starts out, however, with a couple of scratchy sounds before they go into the famously described two puddly call as heard here. The stranger part of listening to black collared barbers' vocalizations is when one part of the duet, either the male or the female, is missing. Here's an example of what it would sound like, and is rarely heard, when only the male is calling. Here's another example when only the female would be calling. The acacia pied barbet, like many barbets, performs a duet. Here's an example of the typical duet of a male and female. Here's a second example of a more agitated pair of acacia pied barbets giving scratchy sounds and duetting. One of the two more regularly heard calls is just the song of the male, as heard here. Never forget though the nasal sound of the acacia pied barbet's alarm call. The tinkerbirds tend to have more popping types of calls compared to the barbets. The first of these is yellow-fronted tinkerbird. Here is an example of the male's song. And here is an example of what most likely, although undescribed, is the alarm call of yellow-fronted tinkerbird.
An almost identical sounding call is the call of the red-fronted tinkerbird. Here is a male song. Although very similar, the red-fronted and yellow-fronted tinkerbirds have very little overlap, so fortunately you may use this call as a fairly reasonable indication of whether you're dealing with red-fronted or yellow-fronted tinkerbird, depending where you are. The yellow rump tinkerbird differs from the yellow-fronted and red-fronted in that its call does not continue monotonously, but goes in short bursts, almost like the rhythm of an African hoopoe. The last call in the series is green barbet, which gives a cow sound, almost like a dog bark, and has some resemblance to the call of freckled nightjar. Here is a male song. Hope you found this resource useful, so please subscribe to our channel, like our video and please follow us for more videos in future.